from here, a lot of times, right, our partner is looking to keep pressure, right, sprawl and smash us from here, right, and it can be difficult to get our partner down to a hip, right. Ultimately, what we wanted to be doing, right, is we want to get getting our partner down to a hip like so, so we can more easily uh, start attacking, right. Hey guys, Caleb Yonkers with Flow Theory Grappling here. Today we're gonna to be going over how to get your partner to a hip from their knees and cross ashy. So let's get into it. I'll use this cross ashy entry that I've shown in another video and I'll link that to get into the position. Um, I, but it doesn't matter however we get into cross ashy. Right, like so. From here, a lot of times, right, our partner is looking to keep pressure, right, sprawl and smash us from here, right, and it can be difficult to get our partner down to a hip, right. Ultimately, what we wanted to be doing, right, is we want to get getting our partner down to a hip like so, so we can more easily uh, start attacking, right. However, right, a lot of partners know that it's a little bit easier to defend from a position like so, where he's on his knees, right. And now from here, I have to have a few different options depending on where he's playing his weight um, in order to actually break him down to a hip, right? Now, first couple details, right, in terms uh, or that are important for not getting just smashed here, right? First one is going to be my hook, right? You'll notice my hook is really shallow on him, right? It's not shot through, right? Super, super shallow. I'm really sticky with my hook, right, behind my partner's butt, like so. All right, this lets me keep my shin as a frame on my partner, right? So whenever he goes to smash me, right, I have my cross lat or cross shoulder post, right, combined with that shin, which makes it hard for my partner to, uh, to start sprawling on me, right? Now, most time at this point, I'll already be, I'll be a little bit more underneath my partner, right? Now from here, again, you can see that frame, that shin frame is pointing up towards my partner, right? Um, now, first option, a lot of times my partner is trying to push into me from here, right? He's trying to smash me. Like so, so from here, I'm gonna have a cross lap post, right? And I can go underneath my partner's, uh, my uh, far leg um, and scoop, like so. All right, now, very important, my other foot is gonna come to the mat, right? And this is gonna let me really invert onto my shoulder to get a good front roll, right? It's very hard to get that front roll going if you don't put that foot on the mat, right? So, again, However, I got into the position like so. I, again, I don't have to keep my legs locked here, right? It's hard to roll in with just my abs. So, yeah, I use this foot on the mat, right? And I don't want to take it so far out that he can just step out of the ashigarami, right? Like so, right? But I can put my foot to the mat here, right? That way from here, again, I can push off, invert through, and roll, right? So that's if my partner is pressuring into me. The directionality when I do roll is pretty important, right? So let's say he's, he's trying to smash me again, right? He's trying to smash, right? I use my toes to come up, right? Now notice the direction I'm trying to roll. The best direction to roll is this way, across his hips, because he doesn't have any way to base in that direction, right? His hips aren't basing, right? His base is up towards his hands, right? And he's got a foot here, right? But he doesn't have base in that direction. So if I try to roll him this way, I'm going to be rolling him into his hands, and I won't get a good... A good roll through, right? So, whenever I come through, right, I want to get across to this position. Now, I can roll him a lot easier. A lot of times, my partner feels like I'm trying to roll him through, right? So, he starts keeping weight back onto his heels, right? Now, from here, because his weight's back that way, right, it's gonna, I'm gonna have a hard time taking him this way, right? I can try to do it, but I, I just, there's too much weight on me, right? So, um, in this case, what we can do right, is I can still use that foot on the mat, um, but from here I'm going to reverse shrimp and scoop my hips underneath my partner, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that foot to the mat, and now I'm going to start scooping my hips underneath my partner, right? And then I can take him over, right? So, again, however I got into this cross ashy position, and my partner's on his knees, yeah, I'm trying to roll him over, but I feel like his weight's backwards, so um, instead of rolling, again. I take that foot through, and now from here, I just shuffle my hips underneath. A lot of times, whenever I go to enter here, my partner's keeping weight back and away from me, right? So in that case, right, it's hard because he's keeping weight more away from me, right, and not straight down towards his butt, right? 
it could, it's kind of a combination of to the butt and away, right? So again, now it's kind of the opposite direction of me shuffling underneath him. So in that case, I'm going to go with the direction that he's leaning. So again, I pull the knee, and I'm going to use that knee to push into him uh, and come up. All right. All right. So again, let's say however I got to cross Ashy, like so. Again, my main three options from here are going to be, again, if he tries to pressure and smash my knee in like so, I'm going to come up onto my foot and re-roll him, right? Or roll him initially. Right, sometimes we we're in cross ashy and then he starts coming up to a knee right maybe he starts hiding his heel right and coming up and then we end up in this position he starts um, coming towards us to smash us right again now this is not a great position for us right so in this case i would be re-rolling him coming up on my foot right i can even use a pendulum of my other leg to do that right or if i entered from the bottom it would be a, an initial roll instead of a re-roll um right so I can roll him if he tries to smash me, right? If he's keeping his weight backwards, right? Hard to roll him. So I shuffle my hips underneath, right? And then the last one, right? Because if I'm here and he's keeping that weight away from me, right? And I can't do either of those, I can come to the knee and I can start coming on top, right? Using his weight backwards. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, please uh, leave them in the comments. It really helps the algorithm uh, so that we can continue to grow the channel. Uh, if there are any techniques you want to see, again, let us know in the comments. Uh, subscribe, like, and thanks for watching.